Hi, I am Dr. Vidyadhara Ayer, Head of the Department and Consultant Spine Surgeon at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. Spinal tumors are quite common, definitely in a tertiary care center like that of ours, the Manipal Spine Care Center, definitely we encounter huge number of spinal tumors, the most common being the metastatic tumors in elderly people, any back pain which is significant needs to be evaluated for spinal metastatic tumor and also at times you come across patients with multiple myeloma which can present with problems or tumors in the spine or rarely a primary tumor in the bone like giant cell tumor or any original bone case is also prevalent. Now the commonest being metastatic spinal tumors they all come with back pain when you do x-rays and MRI, already one or the other bone could have fractured because of the pathology which has weakened the bone and it is not because of the injury that the patient has broken the bone, it is just because the bone has been weakened by the disease or the cancer. In these conditions, what we do is very systematic. First, we need to work up and make sure that whether we can get the primary tumor, like PET CT scan is the ideal before you head for any other intervention and also sometimes blood tests can get us to the diagnosis. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, the back pain because of which the patient has been non-ambulant can be treated very well with minimal invasive procedures such as vertebroplasty or balloon kyphoplasty which are daycare procedures wherein we insert a needle into the fractured bone and take a biopsy from the tissue in the bone, the backbone and then inject bone cement into the bone of the back and once the bone cement sets the patient becomes pain free to the extent of 75 to 95 percent and he can again be ambulant and once the biopsy report comes he can get treated by the oncologist appropriately with either chemotherapy or radiotherapy and second commonest being myeloma multiple myeloma which is also the predominant site is fine can be treated with chemotherapy once diagnosed and the rare tumors we may have to go more aggressive like giant cell tumors we may have to do a anterior posterior surgery with complete excision of the tumor.